Dear Chairman, Ambassador Miller, Dear Director General, Delegates, Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that we host today at the premise of the Ministry of Migration and Asylum the third meeting of the joint process to account for passage meeting as a result of migration in the Mediterranean region. And I would like to thank the International Commission for Missing Persons for all the work they have done in this field in their 25 years of operation. Greece, together with Cyprus, Italy and Malta, decided to join this initiative back in 2018, mindful of the tragic consequences of the loss of human lives, mindful of the growing number of missing persons in their effort to cross the Mediterranean and Aegean seas. The initiative should count more Mediterranean states, since it offers a real added value and complements our national efforts for the identification of missing persons. Our countries and our competent authorities have witnessed through these years that crossing the Mediterranean by small and often unseaworthy boats is indeed a risky endeavor, encouraged by people smugglers for their own financial benefit. In this regard for us, the Mediterranean countries, at the external borders of the European Union, fighting criminal networks of smuggling and human trafficking that promote those dangerous and life-costing journeys has become a top priority. Greece bears no effort to tackle illegal crossings and is implementing an effective border protection policy both at land and at sea, a policy which is in fact prevents effectively further loss of life. Thanks to the relentless effort of the Hellenic Police and the Hellenic Coast Guard, our policy bears its fruits. During the current year, we faced 19 fatalities and missing persons at the Eastern Mediterranean region. A record low compared to 71 in 2019, 187 in 2018, and 701 in 2016, and many more in 2015 at the peak of the migration crisis. Regrettably, the situation in other parts of the Mediterranean appears worse as 1,178 people have been considered dead or missing at the central Mediterranean route and 391 in the western Mediterranean route. Having said that, and despite the positive developments in our area, the toll remains high. As long as smugglers are taking advantage of the need of desperate people to find a better future by using illegal and unseaworthy means, the problem of missing persons in the Mediterranean will remain. Hence, the necessity for our countries to engage in a joint effort to assist the families of missing people and offer humanitarian support through quick and reliable identification process. It is about the families, as Ambassador Miller said. This is a work that Greece has made a priority, and I would like to take this opportunity to express my deep appreciation for the remarkable efforts of the Forensic Science Division of the Hellenic Police, being present here today and serving as the focal point for Greece at this initiative. At the same time, I would like to congratulate Ambassador Miller and his team for the valuable work that you are doing in trying to establish a centralized shared data system capability for the Mediterranean countries and support our countries for a better compliance with domestic and international legislation, which is a goal. Recognizing the validity of this exercise, I would like to wish a lot of success for this third meeting of the joint process today. Hopefully, concrete results will come out of this meeting, leading to a better coordination of our national efforts and a larger group of concerned countries joining this initiative. After all, our common goal is to provide effective humanitarian assistance to people in need and to their families. And for that, I can reassure you that you have the full support of the Greek government and the Greek authorities. I wish you a fruitful and productive day. Thank you, Ambassador.